Use this tool to tap into our your or my and my super conscious mind. Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 67 of our annual challenge, the BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. Today, and this is a topic I really haven't, I don't know that I've talked about it much, if at all, or had much experience with. And it's the idea and the thought and the belief of a super conscious, meaning there's something bigger than us that we can tap into that's a part of us or we're a part of but it's not a physical thing now the super conscious i'm going to read the definition that i looked up because it describes it much better than i can it says the super conscious encompasses a level of awareness that sees beyond material reality and taps into the energy and consequences Consequences, I think consequence. Now it doesn't say consciousness behind that reality. It's the ether. It's the the thing that everything is made of. The electrical magnetic energy that that permeates all matter and all things. And it's it's the belief I think behind Napoleon Hill talked about it and other people as well. The energy uh, that all things are energy, right? From the the secret and all the other uh, resources that speak of this and. It turns out that there's a simple tool that you can use to tap into your super conscious mind. Now, I've never tried this. I'm going to try this with everybody else today and see what happens, see what it feels like. Our action item is going to be to follow these quick 10 steps to do something called soul writing. Just try out soul writing one time and then share your experience. Share, you know, I, I hope that I get something, but I might just share that nothing happens. But here's a, the 10 simple steps to use the tool of soul writing to tap into your super conscious mind. It's supposed to be simple and easy if you use this strategy. Step one, grab a pen and paper. Pretty easy, we can all do that. Step two, take a moment to center yourself. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, make sure you're in a quiet place where you won't be interrupted for a few minutes. Uh, step three, ask your conscious thoughts and then notice your subconscious mind. So. Ask your conscious thoughts if you can participate in the soul writing activity, I guess. And then notice what comes up in your subconscious mind. It might start giving you all kinds of talk that that negates the, the even use of this tool because it's just poppycock or whatever. But notice what comes up, but then go to step four anyway. Step four, make an active choice to step into the super conscious view or the higher self or your soul's view. So decide that you're going to do this. You're going to step into this view and see the world from your super conscious point of view or your souls. You know, there's this, I believe that there's this little you and this big you, you know, it's that voice in the back of our head. That's always running 24 seven. It's, it's more than our subconscious. It's, it's tapped into something outside of ourselves. You might think it's God. You might think it's big version of you. It might think it's your soul. I don't know what you believe, but we can all use this to tap into whatever that is to help guide us in, in our endeavors. So number five, ask your question, ask your soul to answer a specific question and then be patient. This is our way to tap into a solution that we might not have come up with before for a problem that's been been challenging us for maybe a long time or for maybe a short time. If you're skeptical, try it on a little thing, a little problem. Uh, <clears throat> I, I can't think of a question right now, but I will think of a question. I'm going to do this today sometime, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Step six, know that some part of you knows the answer, and it will make itself clear when ready. So I do believe this. I believe that any problem, any challenge, anything that ever comes up in my life, I actually know the answer. Somewhere inside of me, I know what to do. I might not want to do it, but I always know what to do. Step seven, as soon as you get a semblance of any cognitive word or thought, put your pen to paper and start writing it down. Don't judge it. Don't criticize it. Don't edit it. Just write down anything that pops into your head. Just start writing anything that pops into your head. Step eight, if nothing comes at first, listen to the signs and feelings that come up in your body. Uh, follow those and write them down. So if... You're sitting there and it's quiet and you're, you're not getting anything, no answers to your question. Just take a deep breath and tap into and notice how your body feels and your mind feels, what thoughts are going through your head, what, uh, what 
it, what are you feeling in your body? Sometimes when I'm resisting making a decision or a choice about something, I'll notice that there's this pain in the back of my shoulder blades, right or left. I don't know if right or left have a significance, but I'll feel that or I'll feel this weird twitch in my stomach. And then I know that I'm blocking something and I'm not paying attention to it. Step nine then is to write until you're finished. Write all that you can. Um, try not to judge or edit yourself. Go and just do, go with the feelings, write everything you possibly can down. And then step, uh, let's see, your subconscious mind's doing its best to protect you. So remember, as you're trying to write and write and write without judging, without thinking, without editing, your subconscious is trying to shut you down and get you to stop doing it. Maybe the phone will ring or the dog will bark or the baby will cry or whatever. But ignore that. Hopefully you've set aside a quiet, safe time that you can spend maybe 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 just five minutes on this and see what happens for you. And then step 10, that's it. That's all the rules. The rules are just to decide to do it, get a pen and a paper, ask a question, invite your super conscious to help you come up with an answer to that, and then just start writing and then tap into and pay attention to how you're feeling, what comes up for you without judgment, and then after the fact, after it's all done, then you can go back and you can read it and you can see what popped up and see if you don't get the answer to your question. So I'm going to try this on for today. I don't I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, <clears throat> I guess here's another definition of the super conscious. It says a blessed, a, a blissful state in which an individual can perceive themselves and all existence with a pure intuitive and holistic awareness that's, that's a good definition too anyway i'm a little excited to try this soul writing thing because i've always got questions that i'm, I'm trying to look at and find the answers to so i'm going to ask it something personal today and see what comes up and then i'll share in the comments below my experience with so my first experience with soul writing i challenge you to do the same and i'll be with you tomorrow with a i don't even know what our topic is tomorrow with another mindful well-being another mind and mental well-being exercise for this segment of our annual challenge. Have an awesome day. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.